So we have a problem here from rotational dynamics and we have a, a triangular plate of mass. We are given the mass is capital M and we have to find the moment of inertia. The moment of inertia about hypotenuse. We have to find the Mi moment of inertia about hypotenuse. About let's call it uh, the axis passing through O. About axis through O. So uh, what we're going to do is we'll just assume that uh, this complete plate is made by few components. It is made by such components for which we already know, for which we already know the moment of inertia. So we're going to divide this plate into some rods. So uh, let us suppose we move in perpendicular direction and after x and at some distance let's take this element here we take this element thickness dx at distance x this distance is again x this is also x right if if we know the mass of this rod we know we need to know the mass of this blue rod right if mass of rod is dm we can say that the moment of inertia of the rod of the rod will be since all the particles are at distance x from the axis we can directly write it as dm x square so ultimately we have to find how do we calculate the dm we know it's a very uh, it's a two dimensional plate so the area the mass is distributed over its area we can directly write the sigma which is mass per unit area as mass over an area of half ab which is 2m by ab we have our sigma now the mass of rod the mass of rod dm would be sigma into area of rod and for that we need to find out sigma into length of rod into dx because dx is the thickness l is the length that's how we we can calculate the dm now our main point is that how do we find this pause here and think for a moment how do you find the length of the rod it's a basic geometrical question the physics is almost complete here for us okay so um, we know that if this part is x this length can be written as this length is this length is x cosecant theta so the left part this will be x cosecant theta a minus x cosecant theta because this complete length was a this is x cosec theta we can write the remaining length has a minus x cosecant theta. Similarly, we know that ratio of this height, right, ratio of this height divided by this a minus a x cosecant theta must be tangent of theta. So this must be base times tan theta, which is a minus x cosecant theta into tangent of theta. So we know our heights we can definitely write the value of our complete length of the rod so we can write the length of rod so length of rod would be a minus x cosecant theta a minus x cosecant theta bracket the root of 1 plus tan square theta uh, I'm finding this base square plus plus perpendicular square so we'll take this part out a minus x cosecant theta inside will be left with 1 plus tan square theta which can be written as secant theta so it is a minus x cosecant theta secant theta so we know the length of the rod we can directly write that the moment of inertia of rod would be sigma would be sigma a minus x cosecant theta 
into secant theta which is we've written the length of the rod into we've written now mass the complete mass of rod into x square dx into x square so this gives us so moment of inertia if we want to find the moment of inertia of complete plate of complete plate the triangular plate will have to integrate such rods in such a way that x varies this is that x varies with limits from 0 that rod around here to rod around here so this distance we need to know we are given that this complete length this complete length is a and this is theta so this part must be this is a cos theta this length this length here this much will be a cos theta so this will be a sin theta so the limits would be 0 to a sin theta sigma a minus x cosecant theta secant theta x square dx now integrating this expression we'll see that sigma is a constant we'll take this out secant theta is a constant let's take that out as well then we are left with integration of x square dx a x square dx minus integration of x cosecant theta cube cosecant theta dx limit 0 to a sin theta 0 to a sin theta right so we can write it is sigma secant theta bracket a into a cube sine cube theta divided by 3 minus a to the power 4 sine to the power 4 theta cosecant theta divided by 4 taking the common part out sigma secant theta into a to the power 4 sine cube theta into 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 so this gives us sigma secant theta a to the power 4 sine cube theta into 1 by 12 putting the value of sigma sigma we know was 2m by ab so it is 2m divided by ab secant theta secant theta from the triangle we can see triangle that is just length of hypotenuse divided by the base into sine cube theta which is nothing but b cube divided by square plus b square to the power 3 by 2 right so and into a to the power 4 so this essentially gives us 1 by 6 into mass into m into a square b square divided by into a square b square divided by a square plus b square so this expression we can see a square b square by a square plus b square okay we can see that this length let's make with green this complete length if we call it r we can see that r is nothing but a sine theta that was the upper limit right so putting in value of sine theta we get this is a sine theta is b by hypot uh, hypotenuse which is under the root of a square plus b square that's r and what we have found in the expression is nothing but this is just r square the denominator is just a square plus b square and not the whole square make sure you correct that this part is r square so we can say that this is 1 by 6 m r square for a triangular plate the moment of inertia about the hypotenuse can be written as how 1 by 6 mass of plate mass of plate into the 
perpendicular distance from the right angle point to the hypotenuse from right angle point to hypotenuse square so this is our formula for that we've derived it okay